Oh, it's a new day. All right. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Cybersecurity 101. I am Mark Hemingway, content creator here at Archer Energy Solutions. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at um, the cybersecurity term backdoor. Um, I already know that this is bad. Last week, we you know had a nice little cleansing with some uh, good, happy white hacker stuff. Um, but today, uh, I, mean, I have a bad feeling we're into the dark trenches um, of the back door of the dark web or, or who knows where those are uh, accessible. But I imagine um, they're not a good thing. So let's uh, get started. All right, already loaded into ChatGPT is in cybersecurity. What does backdoor mean? A backdoor in cybersecurity is a hidden entry point into a computer system or software that bypasses normal authentication or security mechanisms allowing unauthorized access. Okay, so that just sounds like a regular, kind of almost like a ransomware or a virus where they've got an entry point into your computer. So I guess I would want to know how do backdoors differ from regular vulnerabilities in computer systems? Backdoors are intentionally created or inserted into systems by designers or attackers for unauthorized access. Uh, while regular vulnerabilities are unintentional weaknesses in software or systems that can be exploited by attackers. All right, so there's a little bit of a difference. Uh, these are created and inserted into the systems. Well, looking for my, my happy thoughts when it comes to situations like this, I want to know, can a backdoor ever be a good thing? In rare cases, well, that's good. Backdoors may be intentionally built into systems for legitimate purposes, uh, such as providing access for system maintenance or low uh, enforcement investigations. However, they often pose significant security risks uh, if not properly managed. However, they often pose significant security risks if not potentially managed. All right, well. It's not good. So it sounds like these things, you know, come pre-installed almost in a sense. Um, so um, I guess that could lead to my next question, which is how do you know if you have a backdoor on your system? Let's see. Detecting a backdoor on a system can be challenging. All right. Regularly monitoring uh, system activity, conducting security audits, and using specialized tools for intrusion detection can help identify unusual behavior or unauthorized access that may indicate the presence of a backdoor. All right, so nothing that I'm ever gonna be able to find. I mean, let's be honest. Let's be honest here. I'm never gonna be able to find that. Well, I may not be able to detect it or find it, um, but can I prevent it? How can I prevent a backdoor? on my system. Uh, preventing backdoor involves several measures. Uh, update software, strong authentication mechanisms, uh, security, best practices, code reviews, the risks of downloading and installing software. So just um, be smart with what you do and how you use your computer. Again, you could always just not have it connected to the internet, but then again, nowadays, you're not gonna be able to do much with your computer. It'd be just uh, basically a, um, a typewriter in a sense. Uh, with that, I'll wrap it up with uh, what's a real life incident uh, that involves backdoors? One real life incident involving backdoors is the case of the Juniper Networks backdoor Discovered in 2015, it was found that unauthorized code had been inserted into Juniper's screen OS software, which is used in their net screen firewalls. This backdoor allowed potential attackers to decrypt encrypted traffic passing through the affected devices. It was suspected that the backdoor had been inserted by unknown actors, possibly for surveillance purposes. This incident highlighted the importance of thorough security audits and scrutiny of software updates in detecting and preventing backdoors. Well, another messy situation. So um, it's, you know, just, Always update your uh, your devices. Make sure you're going to sites that you know are, are good and uh, you should be fine. 
you know, stay off of uh, public Wi-Fi. I don't know, I'm just going to feel like I'm going to say that on every episode. Except for, you know, I didn't. But, um, anyways, well, uh, thank you uh, for once again uh, joining me for an episode of Cybersecurity 101. Um, per the usual, you can uh, join us on our uh, social media websites, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And as always, uh, don't forget to go over to YouTube and follow us on uh, our channel there at ArcherU. Um, until next time, you know, stay smart, stay safe, stay off public Wi-Fi. All right, I'll see you next time. You can catch new episodes every Thursday. Follow us on YouTube at ArcherU. Like, subscribe, and click the bell notification to be notified when a new episode has been released. Is there a question or a topic you'd like Mark to address on an upcoming episode of Cybersecurity 101? Leave them in the comments below and check back in every Thursday for a brand new episode.